this slide explains the time dependent deformations of concrete, which is the creep. The creep is basically the deformations over a long duration of time at a constant stress. The keyword here is constant stress. Its development rate is faster at first but decrease with time until constant. The development of creep is dependent on the time, mixed proportions, humidity, curing conditions, and the age of concrete when it is first loaded. This figure shows the variations of the creep development over the time. The y-axis here represents a ratio of creek coefficients, which is CT, the creek coefficients at any time, divided by CU, the ultimate creek coefficient. It basically means that the amount of creek developed by any time out of the total creek developed by the concrete over a long period of time. The x-axis here represents the age of the concrete. Bear in mind that the scale show as the age is in the form of log, which is normally used to plot for the exponential changes of the curve you will see the development of the creep is faster at the early stage but reduces at the later stage of the concrete. And 90% of the creep developed within the 5 years. This table shows the creep correction factors for non-standard loading edges as well as the creep and shrinkage correction factors for non-standard relative humidity. Next, we discuss about the shrinkage. The normal concrete mix contains more water than it is required for hydration process of the cement. This leads to free waters in the concrete mix. This free water evaporates in time, where the rate and the completeness of the evaporation and drying is depending on the humidity, ambient temperature, size, shapes of the concrete specimen. And you know that the drying of the concrete is accompanied by a reduction in volume. These reductions in volume will be the shrinkage of the concrete and the development of the shrinkage will be faster at the early stage and slower at the later stage. Depending on the methods of curing, the moist curing method normally results in higher degree of shrinkage. As for the steam curing method, the shrinkage is slightly lower. The y axis here represents the ratio of the shrinkage at a specific time divided by total shrinkage. The total shrinkage nearly reached to 100% within the 5 years.